What's up guys? Welcome to my Sorceress Garden mini game guide. So this mini game is very simple. To get there, just use the mini game teleports, next page, and then the Sorceress Garden. Um, so again, this mini game is one of the most simplest ones there is. It's essentially just running into each spot and collecting from a tree. The only requirement is 70 thieving, and 70 th thieving should take no more than an hour. So you can do this pretty much right away and get some pretty good rewards. So. Uh, let's get into those rewards now by showing you this. So these are some of the rewards, and I will do another. I will do loot from 100 towards the end of the video if you want to check that out for yourself. But you can get a lot of stuff, you know, varying, varying, varying rarities, rarities. Um, so you can get a lot of cash too, just from small cash bag and gilded items. Gilded items sell for five mil each. So if you want to try to get to Ash's dungeon. Um, which is a recent update. It costs 100 mil to get in there. This is a pretty good way to start off. Start off with thieving, get 100 mil, train your combats up a little bit, and then get right into Ash's dungeon and hope for the big loot. So, this is a pretty good starting mini game. I, I do it every once in a while when I'm AFKing because it is kind of AFK. You you'll really only have to do one click or so. So, let's uh, let me show you how the mini game works. It's very simple. I, I like to start with I like to keep my compass northeast southwest, and then you just click where the uh, bigger area is. It should auto run you there. So it's a simply just just waiting. And then once here, click from the tree. You will get some nice farming XP. You can get farming experience from this. You can also get the farming pet and the thieving pet. So you can get both possible pets from this minigame. Um, and then I like to go south, and it's essentially the same thing. So just click away, play your play your RuneScape 3 or whatever you're doing. Your, your porn, look at your porn. And, and then when you are near the thingy, pick the fruit. So you cannot stack these fruits and if you already have one you cannot loot another one. Uh, let's see if I can spam click it and I'll see if it'll say the message. Eh. No, I guess it I guess it wouldn't. Oh no 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 don't run me back. <laughs> but but trust me, you can't you can't uh, have more than one. So it's not like one of those things where you can just stock up. Um, but as you can see it's not even really worth it to do that because it teleports you out, which is convenient. So then you just Repeat the same process, collect the white one, and um, then we got the last one. Whenever you do get a loot, you actually roll the table twice. So you you essentially have two shots. Um, so even though the, for example, the pet rarity is to get on the very rare table is one in 250. But since you have two rolls, it's technically two in, in, in 250. I, did I say 150 or 250? It's 250. So always keep that in mind. And it's as simple as that. Well, now we're about to loot it. So... Like I said, all you need is 70 thieving. It's an interesting mini game because it requires a little bit of thieving and and farming. Boom. So there you go. You got three amethyst and two overlords. That's probably one of the worst loots. But let me uh, let me do loot from 100, and I'll show you what all you can get from this. All right, here we go. One last loot. Boom. So let us bank. I forgot to mention the best thing you can get from this, at least in my opinion, is the Chronicle book. The Chronicle book is what you you wear it, and whenever you open up clues, you have a 1 in 15 chance of keeping the clue, but still getting the loot. So, it's a pretty nice item to have. This is the only way to get it other than unique boxes, and it is the same rate as the pets, so about 1 in 250. So, these are the loots. Let me organize it a little bit better so it looks easy to see. So, here we go. We hit the table a couple times. We got Robin Hood hat, I guess Robin Hood hat, and then the Odium Shard also is the table as well. So, we hit the table twice, so really it's like 1 in 50. So, that's that, that's pretty good. Or maybe we just got lucky, but... Either way, so this probably doesn't look like much to you, but the thing with these is a lot of these items sell. For example, this right here, I believe, is 3 mil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell everything and then see what the actual value was. So just from pure cash, we ended up getting 56 million from that. And then you do have the clues and stuff, which you can obviously get more gilded pieces. You could turn them into masters if you want. I know someone was recently asking me what's a good way to get masters. If you do, you know, this this uh, mini game, you'd, you'd have at least 10 masters right here. Um, the, the half keys as well. We'll open these three mixture boxes. I'm not gonna open the half keys because if you've played the server, you've seen you've seen half key openings. <laughs> you've you, if you've played the server, you've you've seen many yourself. Crystal keys are almost their own form of currency. But let's uh, just see what we get from these. There, and there's another 10 mil. I think this is 6.666 mil. There's some. I mean, that was cash right there. Let me go find. Yeah, right. That was 19 mil just right there. So, like I said, if you really want to get to Ash's dungeon and you're short on cash, you can't have you can't think of anything else to do. The Sorcerer's Garden is definitely a good minigame. And again, it's one of those things where it's not meant for the high-end players. I know a lot of people with, 
20 build banks are going to go, oh, this is gay, it needs buffed. It's not for you, it's for the lower to mid tier. I think I think we need a lot more of those updates. And I actually like this minigame. I think it's pretty, it's pretty well done. It's very, very simple. The rewards are pretty good for how simple it is. And you can get some pretty decent experience. As you saw, I think it was 112,000... Uh, or was it 125,000? 100 something thousand thieving experience. And then there was also the 10 tomes we ended up getting. So that adds up. And small little farming XP helps out as well. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, any ideas, by, by all means, just comment below.